Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jim the Editor Plays, where we are playing through a randomized version of Pokemon Fire Red. And if that weren't hard enough, we also decided to add the King's Lock rules as put forward by Pokemoniacal. If you're not sure what those are, on the right hand side we have a set of rules. And for every new route or gym that I enter, I have to draw a card and whichever of the associated rules uh, that comes up, I have to kind of add to the list. This is our team at the moment. Krusty, the newly evolved Ladian. Doug, Fred, Trevor, and Dragoon. And I've decided to give up the search for a muck. Uh, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up a little bit, after I do a couple of these battles up here. So let's see what's going on today. Rich Boy Max. Alright, Dragoon, you're probably not going to be able to do anything there. So we'll uh, switch in Krusty and see what he's got. Hmm, a Mawile. Who in this game would just be Steel type, right? Um, well, I can't really do anything to Mawile. So I guess Krusty it is. Ooh, Fissure. I mean, Krusty can't really do anything to Mawile either. All of it's going to be not very effective. There we go. See you later, Marshall. Maybe we'll switch to Fred, just to see if Fred can make some headway by himself. That's why we use the Iron Defense. Yeah, great work, Fred. Nailed it. I'm glad your boyfriend is cool. Designer Chloe. It's a new one, I think. Ooh, Fred, faster than the Ekans. And gets well winded. That's why he was faster than the Ekans. Um, there's not really much you can do here. There we go. Now we'll see if we can get through here now, Dragoon. Crush. Well, that was silly. know what I mean to do. Alright, let's keep going with Fred. Ooh, a Dratini. With a Super Fang. Of course, Super Fang does half your remaining HP, so I'm not afraid of a Super Fang Dratini. afraid of Bagon, but we'll see what happens.
Ooh. This is quite a handy little Bagon with uh, a recovery move and cosmic power. It's a pity about Pound. Aww. I knew that was going to happen at some point. Come on, Doug. Doug, whose defenses are paper thin. Oh, and also is a psychic ticklet. Nice. Alright, yeah, happy with Doug going first. Oh, he's got a girlfriend. Operator Jessica. Fair enough, Operator Jessica. I'm glad your girlfriend's great. Yeah, Fire Blast, Doug. Oh. Speed this up a little bit. Oh. Uh, at least you're faster. Yeah, good work, Doug. Uh, let's switch you out. Switch and retriever. Oh no, Razor Wind. Um, can't remember what Dragoon's stats are like. It's up to you, Doug. Good work. Alright. Time to head back to the Poker Center, I think. Ooh. Poison tail. Running, running, running. Gonna do some running. And run all the way back. Probably edit this out. Who we got first? Fred still. Good. Come on, Fred. Oh, color change. Ah, oh, Fred, what are you doing? Ah, oh, it's just annoying. These things happen. Come on, Driva. Oh, that's a handy little fury attack there. And toxic will kill it. Great work, Driva. Ooh, bulk up Driva now. Right, as we progress towards Bill's place. Rich kid Esteban. Oh, Esteban. We're in a little dress there. We've had an Esteban already, definitely. So I wonder if this is the same Esteban uh, in Mount Moon. I think it is. Does this spinner nap only have mine, Greta? Nope, Uncle. much choice here. There we go. And we've arrived at Bill's house. Oh. Hi little Pokemon. 
Don't be silly. Bills aren't Pokemon. How... I still don't understand how he did that. Did he put a Pokemon on one side and he accidentally got into the other side? Because a Pokemon doesn't come out, does it? It's just Bill. Well, where did the Clefairy go? Or did you invent a machine that instead of... In addition to teleporting people... Also changes them into Pokemon? And I've got the SS and ticket. Here, ten year old girl, have this ticket to a boat party that I was going to go to. Of, of course, I'll go to this fancy boat party that. That, yeah. That's kind of weird. Is it gold and silver? Well, gold, silver, and crystal, where, um. Misty is actually on a date up here and you have to find them before you can beat her or meet her at the gym. Oh hey, this door's open. Uh, I think I need to beat Misty before I can use Cut, so you need, do need to get the second uh, badge before you can get the third, or indeed before you can go through Dark Cave. Uh, so let's I mean, we may as well. Let's see what Misty has. Um, Krusty's already quite a high level, so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge, depending on what they've got in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gets well. Oh, good. Oh, the Octazooka Panko. Ouch. Triva, no! It's okay, Triva's useless. I think Triva might be one of the first ones to go. Well, if we can eventually replace him. I should mention that I didn't draw a card when I came into Misty's gym because we already did that. Uh, a couple of episodes back. I believe Misty's... Um, Misty gave us the ace that got rid of our waterfall that we had previously. I believe. It's either the ace or the eight that got rid of our, our dear friend um, Rod, Todd and Bob. whom we miss, but not nearly as much as we miss Squishy. Oh, I guess it is a bug gym. That's right, we've got to deal with this mind reader of internet. You know what? Screw it, come on, bug. Yeah, great work, Doug. So if this is a... I'll just heal everyone. I know Misty only has two Pokemon, we won't need it, but... I guess... This is a... A Bug Gym second up after... I think we decided it was a Weather Gym, although it was really, I guess, technically a normal gym. With Brock. So... Here we are! Facing Misty! Hashtag progress. Or the trainer formerly known as Misty. You're not using water type Pokemon. Technician Landon. That's a lovely bikini you've got on Landon. And Anorith is an interesting start. Ice Ball Anorith. We know a thing or two about Ice Ball. Thanks to Rod, Todd, and Bob. It's a nice little start for us. Poising with a fixed spore. 
But the clamp damage. Might as well just keep using clamp to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, it would be nice if it hit. But. Figures can't be choosers. Ooh. See ya, Trevor. I thought it was going to leave you with two or three health left. That's my bad. <laughs> Thank god this is not a Nuzlocke. Um, we'll leave Doug till next, I think. I don't think Anorith is the best person to use Doug against, especially an ice balling Anorith. Um, oh yeah, that ice ball's going to hurt too. Could be in trouble here. Dragoon at least is neutral. There we go. Ooh, could have been in a bit of danger there. It had um, flashbacks to Whitney's uh, rollouting mill tank. A little bit. But Dragoon got us through. And a Heracross. Nice. Ooh, nice shading Heracross. A night shading speed boosting Heracross. That's dangerous. I like that a lot. Thankfully. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, and of course it knows rest. Look at Crush Claw, just doing work. Great work, Dragoon. Didn't even have to get crusty out. And there you go, Technician Landon. See you later. We get our bug badge. That for some reason looks like a raindrop. Got TM3 from Landon. And it's Sludge. Right, of course it is. And that, I think as I wander down to the Pokemon Center, is probably a great place to end the episode. Uh, yeah, we beat Landon, the second gym leader, who's also a technician. I can't remember what the guy who was Brock was. But yeah, so thanks very much for joining me once again. Uh, and I guess on the next episode, we'll be on the road to Vermilion City. Alright, thanks very much.